coral reefs are an ecosystem. It's like a, a tropical rainforest. Um, coral reefs are often considered the tropical rainforest of the sea. Um, the coral reef environment is made up of corals, which are animals. They're tiny little animals that are like sea anemones, but they grow in large clones of one another. So those tiny little anemones can produce a single organism, which can be um, 30 feet across and 20 feet tall. I mean, that's a really big coral. Um, and the way that they get so big is that underneath the little anemone-like structure, they're, they're depositing or releasing what's basically like a rock. It's calcium carbonate. It's like what bones are made out of. So they, they deposit that underneath their little, um, their little anemone-like structure. And then over time, they keep building that rock. And so that rock grows up towards the surface. They use sunlight for, um, they have little, they farm little algae in their tissues, which uses sun to give the coral energy. So they all grow up towards the sun and end up creating these massive structures that are known as coral reefs. So if any of you have been snorkeling or been fortunate enough to be diving on a coral reef, you'll see what looks like all these colored rocks all over the landscape. And those are the living corals. And they actually build the landscape. They, we call them ecosystem engineers. So they're like trees, right? They grow up off the bottom and they create this complex um, three-dimensional habitat, which creates all kinds of space and food for all a whole variety of different organisms. So you get sea stars and, and sea anemones and fish and octopus and all kinds of other little crabs and shrimp and things that run around and they all have habitats and little homes in the corals. So the corals are creating like, you know, condominiums for all these organisms, but um, they're also alive, so they're still growing. And if, if the coral isn't alive, um, you'll no longer have that actively growing landscape that's providing food and houses for all these other organisms. Coral reefs are believed to be one of the most biodiverse ecosystems on the planet. What that means is that they are home to more individual species than almost any other ecosystem. Um, that's why we consider them the, the rainforests of the sea. So on land, rainforests provide or support all of these different species. And the same thing happens in the ocean on coral reefs. Um, so a lot, of, a lot of us care about preserving biodiversity and making sure that there are places for all of these different species to live and that they all have food and shelter and what they need to, to survive. Um, but coral reefs are also important for a whole variety of other reasons. Um, one, as I mentioned, they're building that, that um, landscape, that three-dimensional structure that actually grows almost all the way up to the surface of the water and creates this barrier around islands. So if any of you have heard of the Great Barrier Reef or even been to any tropical location, you'll know that there's what the reef is, is this big geologic structure that goes around the islands. And the reefs break up the battering forces of waves and storms. And so they protect the islands from erosion and from you know, flooding and all of these things. So they have a really big kind of engineering importance for people. Um, they're also important for fisheries. So a lot of people fish on coral reefs and get a large proportion of their their protein, their daily food intake from the, the reef resources. And then, of course, they're important for tourism. I mean, we all have paid, many of us have paid to go snorkeling or diving on a coral reef or to go kayaking around a reef um, because we humans generally tend to have a special place in our heart for beautiful ecosystems. And so we all want to go explore those places. And um, we're, we're willing and, and interested in paying money to go. And so that's an important reason to make sure that we keep them healthy because people want to see these healthy and beautiful ecosystems and they don't want to go to a, a place that's been damaged and trashed by pollution and garbage and things like that.